Welcome back to Homestead, Mississippi. Today, got good news to report. We haven't had any of that bitter from last week. <laughs> Today, I'm going to show you around the farm. I'm going to show you a lot of the stuff I've talked about and where we're going to do our garden, where we have our greenhouse. The greenhouse is, I, I need to do a little work in there right now. It's small. I'm planning on moving it. I'll show you where we're going to put another greenhouse and um, our plans for it and um, give you a little more of an idea of what we have going on around here. All right, let's go. Over here is an old barn. It used to be full of all this stuff here. So we've got a trash pile we've pulled out. We've got to get rid of all of this old stuff, an old recliner. And um, inside here, we're going to do some real cool stuff. We're probably gonna put some baby chicks in here Eventually, it's got a concrete floor in here. Um, we're gonna clean up this and sure it up. You can see it's getting a little old. But this is a re really, really, really cool barn. So we're going to put this to use. We may even put some windows up here and uh, at least screen it to keep the uh, animals out. A lot of work to do inside here, but it's gonna be worth it. This is gonna be a great place for us in here. In this barn, there's two parts to it. There's that front part and then there's a back part. That back part right now is just storage. It, stay, it stays completely dry, which is awesome. And here's Mama's fence she's trying to do. We've kind of run into some slow times. She hadn't been able to come up here and weed in a while. You see some papaya trees. We're going to put those in the uh, greenhouse. And then she's got her roses and some other flowers up in here. And um, so she's planning on making this fence all the way up this trail and way up there in the back you can see the greenhouse now so we've got this trail that goes on up to the barn and the greenhouse and then this uh, trail here that goes over to our garden i'm going to take you up to the greenhouse first show you the pole barn then we'll come back to the garden here is culantro that mama has planted. It is, a, it is a sister to cilantro. Smells just like it, has a very similar taste, but it is a lighter taste. And you can see some of the seeds she has going here. She's gonna let it seed, and hopefully all around here grow more of this. We grew those from seeds. And again, she's gonna put that wooden fence all the way up through here hiding our little plants. We have this flower here. We got from Texas. It made it through the winter and is doing great. She's got all these little flowers here and plants. She's gonna plant right here and let them keep growing. We have some mallow over here. That's an old uh, stall for some animals from years ago, before my time. Aloe she planted. And then here, let's see here where she's got it. It's buried in all this grass and all these spiders, yucky. You can see down here is some basil. Yep, there it is. That's basil buried in all that grass. And here's the greenhouse. I haven't had a lot of time to clean it up here lately. Um, been doing a lot of extra work and we've got some citrus trees. We've got some asparagus. We have mint outside here. We've got an avocado tree and we've got two more fig trees growing here. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six more muscadine uh, bushes here. We have some muscadines hanging here. They're not ripe, not yet. And then we have some down here that are not ripe yet as well. All right, now let's take you into the greenhouse. Not a lot going on in here. We have some strawberry plants that have done quite well in here. They produced some strawberries this year for us. And we've got two more mulberry trees right here. And we have to get these planted before um, we lose them. Then we have over here, she's got another tree. What tree is this, boys? No, it's not a mango tree. 
Now it's time for avocado. I don't remember what tree she got there. But that's another tree, a fruit tree. Then we have these we have these plants here. My mama used to have this when she was still alive and and I kept this one going. This one's been around since as long as I've been born almost. And I ain't gonna tell you how long that was. That ain't that long. There's another citrus tree. And of course, right next to the greenhouse we have here, up here, is the old pole barn. The pole barn, we have a lot of work to do on it. You can see it's falling apart in some areas. And then we've got um, Papa's old van that's in there that uh, I don't think he's gonna make it. No, yeah, that, that, Trying to find a good place to bury that thing. So here's the pole barn. And as you can see, damages. And it is a good place that we can store. Hey, now I'm gonna take you to the garden. Where we're gonna do the garden. You know, I know you've seen the goats, you've seen chickens, you've seen the ducks, seen the quail, and uh, now you've seen the greenhouse and the pole barn where we store some of our stuff. And I'm gonna have to pull the old tractor up here, park it as well. All right. Entering into the garden area. As you can see, we've got a lot of area up here that we're gonna use for the garden. We've already cleared it out. I'm still doing some work though, because I'm gonna clear out more over here. I'm gonna keep going. I did this section last week. I'm gonna do another section this next week and just keep clearing off all the way back to that other trail. The house is back through over there. And right here, we have the bees. Yes, I put cinnamon. Do not do that. Not smart. Scares away the ants and your bees. I'm gonna do this again. This time, I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna square off a large area over here and I'm gonna put a concrete pad down. Then I'm gonna lift that up and around that concrete pad, I'm gonna make sure it is ant proof. And I ain't gonna put anything inside that box that's gonna mess with those bees. I'm gonna clean up that box, get all that mold and uh, black stuff off of it. I'm gonna stain it, and I'm gonna clean it up real nice this fall. We're gonna clean it up, we're gonna fix this whole thing up, and um, that's a project I plan on you being along with me while I do it. All right, let me know if you wanna see it. If not, I won't do it. Just let me know, comments. So this is our garden. And again, it's not all cleaned off. We're going we're to go back over there and clean off a lot of that over there. Look forward to it. This is going to be a large garden. We're going to be able to produce a lot of food, not just for us, but we look to be generous. Our goal is to take care of people who are in need, widows, orphans, and the poor. Not saying we're not poor, not saying we're rich. <laughs> oh, oh, where am I going? Me and the boys created this path from the garden down straight over to the goat pen. You're gonna recognize probably a little bit better where we are now. Here's our goat pen and there's Mr. Bob. Well, now I'm walking through the field out here. I'm over here next to the boy goat pen here and we got our females back over here and um, I'm gonna walk over here and show you a little bit about the plans that we have for in the future out here and some things. Hopefully within this next year we can get all of this going, but we'll see. There's a lot to do. So over here, I have the electric fence strung all the way through here, not allowing the donkeys, because the donkeys have all of this field right now. This entire field. This area here, I'm thinking about making a fruit tree orchard. And down here, as you can see in the middle of the field, 
it gets to low point right through here and all through here and eventually I'm thinking about probably trying to do a little pond gotta watch where I step it's very uneven but I'd like to do a pond out here and um, again ambitious and we'd like to stock it with some fish that way we can do a little fishing out here and have a little fun with the kids out here on the farm so now I'm way over here on this side of the farm on the back side you see the red barns over here the goat pen over there the houses over there so I plan on using just about every acre of this land if we can well all of it that we can use for gardening putting some goats or animals out here and pond greenhouses flowers and I'm gonna leave a little land for some hunting I don't want to fill up everything <laughs> gotta have some fun myself me and the boys So this is the other side of the uh, farm. This little area, we got a little drive in here. So this is where we're gonna put another greenhouse right over here. We've already got electric to it. And um, I'm planning on doing that soon. And um, right back through here is the creek. But I'm gonna just show it to you from up top rather than going down. It's a nice, real nice area here. We're going to do a lot of... Mima wants to do flowers all in here for sailing. Got to watch my step in here. Make sure there's nothing on the bank. And... There's the creek. Right down there. What I want to do is test that water see how good that water is see if we can start maybe using that water cut down on our water bill up here at the houses shoot who knows if it's real good water maybe just tap into it and drink it ourselves and just filter it and I want to walk the creek because I don't know how far south it goes it's running from the south to the north and um, I want to see how far it goes and see if there's any folks dumping anything in it that we don't want them dumping into it that we wouldn't want to drink. And um, so I'm wanting to make things a little easy on us when we do our greenhouse, because in, in the winter time, in January and February, it gets pretty cold. There'll be a couple spells where, for a week or two or three, where it doesn't even get over freezing. So uh, I aim to come on out here and uh, put a greenhouse right here. And um, we have water, and there's also a gas line. Where's that gas at? Anywhere, there's gas here. Here it is. So I'm planning on tapping in, turning, having this gas turned on. That way, I hook up a little gas heater over here and just let it burn during the winter time. That way, I don't have to worry about the electricity or any of that, and uh, we keep it going. I was thinking this might be elderberry, and it is. It's already done. It looks like it's actually dying off, but it had some in the little elderberry bush. We have some over next to the house that we planted that we've been able to get some elderberries off of. High in vitamin C, great for if you're sick, make teas out of, jams, jellies. Elderberry's pretty good, so. And let's see here. Again, here's the creek right over here. As you can see, that water's just flowing nice down there. It's beautiful. I think there's only one or two more things I want to really show you that I haven't shown you yet here on the farm. The one is over in the grandma and grandpa's front yard. And they have a, uh, well, we have a nice 
muscadine bush up there that we're planning on expanding and, and growing. But there's tons of muscadines on there. So we're going to walk over there and I'll show you those. I'm here with the donkey, Fiona. And Shrek's over there. He's, yeah, Fiona and Shrek. And he, he's, he's not the nicest. And this is old Rachel. She's a sweet thing. Thank you, girl. Fiona's pregnant. Going to pop soon. This is an old uh, shelter I tried to build them a little while back and it it failed as you can see. All right, girl. Good gracious. Okay. <laughs> Rachel loves being petted on and loved on. Don't you, girl? <laughs> She's the baby. So, um, an old failure here I made. Beautiful big pine tree right here. Girl, I don't like being behind your leg. You kicked me. I don't trust you that much. Whoa! Her and her, I think her and uh, Bob take the same notes. Look at her. Crazy thing. Her and Bob. Look at them. Shrek and Fiona. Love birds. Well, maybe not. <laughs> Okay, walking in the front yard up here. You haven't been here yet. And um, hope that we don't offend anybody up here at all for any reason. <laughs> so we have mimosa trees up here. We got one right there and one over here. I baby this mimosa tree uh, when it was just a little twig coming out of the ground and I'm proud of this thing. It is beautiful. So these trees are good for medicinal purposes. You look these up, these pods. And uh, one of the things I'm hoping to do is over in the corner is I'm hoping to um, is uh, get these seeds and create a whole mimosa forest. I love these trees. They're tropical looking. They're good uh, for food. They're good for foraging and they're good for uh, medicinal purposes. And here's our muscadines right here. All right. Good old muscadine bush here. You can see we were over at Nancy's the other day and of course all the herds were purple. These are the green, the golden ones, and they're not ripe yet. So they've got a little, little time to go. There's, it's loaded with them, see it? This is a small bush. Oh, whoa, 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 uh-oh. Look at this, look at this. There's a purple one. We've got the purple and the gold here, a mixture. Because we've got two, one at one end of this and one at the other, and you can see we got some purple going on around here. They're not ripe yet. They'll be ready soon. And I believe you, me, we still have a whole bucket of those that the boys picked the other day. But when these turn, them boys are going to be all over them. And yeah, you can see some of them turning here. They're going to be all over this bush. So we really need to trim back this bush. And I'm going to add some barbed wire going across up here. There's two T-posts in there. And... Um, we're going to start expanding this bush. It's about four years old now. So uh, you can see they're coming, they're climbing up on this branch. We're going to have to cut this branch down, clean all this up. And um, hopefully we'll have a little orchard going. Muscadine orchard. Make some muscadine juice and some good stuff. So that's the tour. Um, I don't think I forgot anything. I think I've shown you just about everything. If not, you've seen it before. And... Um, I'm going to get back over there and start cleaning up some stuff. All right, coming back to you now in the chicken coop. We started fixing it up, and um, we've gotten, I'm going to say, about 90% done. We're not completely done. I'll give you a little tour real quick of the chicken coop. They now have bedding. This side over here has six nesting boxes, and that side over there, we've got the fence up to keep separate these from those and we've got guineas we've got all kinds in here so here's our feed bin there's our water up off the ground and as we come back here water off the ground for them and they've got the roosting over there they haven't learned how to roost yet over on that side and they've got a few more nest boxes over there because we're gonna have a few extra hens on that side and actually the ones on that side are geared up they should be laying more eggs there's our old turkey so everyone's good now everyone's got a 
feed bin. We've got them separated, safe and sound. Well, here to finalize this video and let you know that I appreciate you watching, appreciate you tuning in and, and taking your time when you could be doing just about anything else in the world that you want to do. But you chose to watch us here on this farm, and I appreciate it. And I hope that it's been worth it. I hope that you see our hearts, you see our dreams, our visions, what we have here on the farm. We got a lot of cleanup to do, a lot of building. And again, I'm going to post every Tuesday. And I ask you to please like, share, and uh, by all means, subscribe and and. Tell your, your other friends, your neighbors about us. And uh, let us know if you have any ideas for us, any any concerns. Um, I'm all ears. I'm learning. We're growing. Uh, the kids love it here. I love it here. Mama loves it here. This next week, I'm hoping to share something that you really enjoy. Let me know if there's something you want to see more of. And we'll definitely work on that. Again, I appreciate it. Hope you subscribe, like, and share. Be blessed. Don't forget to help your neighbors out, help your friends. Be good to each other. We appreciate you. See you next time.